What's up YouTube, this is Dragon, and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, let's get to the battle at hand. Now, this today, this team today is a very special team. There is not going to be one bit of stall on this team, so you guessed it, there is no Blissey and no Gliscor. This is going to be quite challenging because I have no means of defense, so I have no choice but to be very strategic and all-out attack. So, my first choice is very important, and good, I predicted the Blaziken, so now my Crobat is going to have free range for Choice Banded, Brave Birds, striking his whole team for free. So, ah, here's also what's interesting. Because this is Infiltrator Crobat, I'll be able to go straight through any reflex or anything crazy like that. So, I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird right now. Alright, you withdraw. That's fine with me. Okay, he goes to the Aegis Slash. Alright, so, let's see. Let's Blaziken, Aegis Slash. Okay, hopefully he goes for, um, hopefully this, uh, this Pokemon goes for anything but the, um, wait, no, 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 I'm gonna go for my Snorlax. Yes, I'm gonna go for my Snorlax, and I'm gonna be a bit of a betting man, because I haven't seen many, many, um, Asia Slash carry the, uh, Sacred Sword. No, not Secret Sword, it's, it, wait, what? Okay, the double switch. Are you gonna switch back into? Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all. That was a pretty good play, sir. I ha I have to give him his his commendations. Not bad. That was really good. A double switch. Okay. Ah oh, man. I don't even know how to feel about that. I really don't. Uh, hmm. Okay, now given this situation, I'm going to have to stay in and just body slam him right off the bat. Hopefully, like, I might score a paralysis. I hope that's the case. Because he, he knows I'm going to go right back into the, the crow bat. I know that's what he's predicting because he's that type of guy. So, I'm going to go straight for the Body Slam, and I kind of wish I had Earthquake on this Pokemon, so, yeah. Fire Blast, yeah, you see, he predict he's predicting me to go back to my Crobat, of course. Lost some of his HP, okay. And let's see, will the, Woo! critical hit. I, I don't know, I don't even, I don't know if that mattered or not, I'm not sure. But this is a adamant, adamant health points, and this is an adamant Snorlax, max HP, max health points, so it may or may not have mattered, I'm not sure, but, you know, it depends, it depends. So, yeah, but damn, that's gonna make this much easier, because now it's only an Asia Slash and this Pokemon here, so, yeah, that's the thing. That's a thing. So, oh, check this out. I have a new Pokemon to show you guys right now. And that is the Trevenant. Yes, amazing Pokemon. Great defenses. Can pretty much counter Ozumaro in this situation. It can't do anything. What, what is this Pokemon going to do? That Pokemon could be Choice Banded. You never know. His Blaziken is gone, so now I can very easily go for the Will-O-Wisp. And, okay, go ahead. Switch back into, into your Aegis Slash. Make this much easier for me. And the Will-O-Wisp hits. So now I don't have to worry about any physical attacks from this Pokemon whatsoever. But then at the same time, it could be a special attacking type. So that's something I'm a little bit afraid of. Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. I know for a fact that... You know what? I'm almost certain that that Azumaro is Choice Banded. So, I want to put that Azumaro in a situation in where it's forced to do something like... Um, like Waterfall or, you know, anything. But, heck, actually, I want to kind of make it do Superpower. But it's Choice. You know, I'm not really, I'm not really afraid of it like that right now. So, you know what? The best play I can do, especially because it's burned, I can go... I can go into my Snorlax. Yeah, because my Trevenant directly counters that Azumarill. So, you know, that Azumarill can't really do anything. So he might go for the Shadow Ball or the, um, let's see, Flash Cannon, Shadow Ball or Flash Cannon. And, you know, Snorlaxes are naturally special, especially bulky, so here we are. All right. Uh, hmm. With that, I'm gonna go for the rest. Okay, stance change, and this is the king shield right here because you know, obviously, obviously, if I attack him, then I'm gonna lose a lot of attack. So, you know, he's gonna put up the king shield. Well played, but. This is a Resto Chesto Snorlax, so yeah, you, you see, you, this is this is why I like playing in different in different styles because it makes it really interesting and really fun. Like I have to be very very strategic when like I don't I don't have any glide scores, I don't have any blissies, so now I have to be really really analytical and oh I, I love it I love it. All right, so you know what? I have nothing to lose. I don't have to use curse or anything ridiculous like that. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go straight for the crunch, and he might go for the double king shield. Nah, he's he's going for the stance change. All right, maybe this might be the sacred so uh, no flash cannon, but it doesn't matter. Okay, cool, no problem. And. I, in this case, now I'm forcing my opponent's hand. So, if my opponent is Choice Banded, he's going to be forced to use a certain type of move. So, if he uses Superpower, then he can't, he can't do anything against my, if he, if he uses Play Rough, he can't do anything against my Crobat, Superpower, he can't do, he can't do, the only Pokemon he'll be able to kill is my Snorlax, and then Waterfall, he can barely touch my Trevenant. So this is almost a complete win condition. So now I am a little bit afraid of the belly drum, so I'm gonna go for the body slam. Okay, yeah, play rough. Yeah. And, all right, that, that didn't even kill Snorlax. Paralysis? Nope, but it doesn't matter. And we, we it, there's no such thing as a choice scarf Ozmaro. That That's not a thing, but it doesn't matter though. Okay, okay. So he's probably expert belt. All right, cause yeah, choice banded. Um, <laughs> critical hit. Choice banded. Uh, play rough would most likely have killed my Snorlax at that range. That that would make sense. Mm -hmm. So from there, I can just go straight into my Crobat and finish the deal. Not bad, sir. Not bad at all. Choice band, choice banded brave bird at a jolly nature with with uh, max attack is like 415.5 damage. So yeah, that that's a good game right there. Well played. I love that double switch in the beginning. That was really good. I love that. My my opponent was nice. Yeah, he was experienced and. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. You can kind of take advantage of experienced players because you can predict that they'll be predicting your attacks and they won't go straight for the obvious. So a less experienced player may have gone for the fighting type attack right off the bat, right? But then at the same time, the less experienced player may have stayed in with Blaziken, who knows? So because my opponent did a double switch that he did, 
I knew that he was going to predict me to probably like go back into my um, into my crowbat so that I could avoid taking the um, so that I could avoid taking the potential physical attack that was threatening my Snorlax on the field. So I just stood there and body slammed him because I I knew I knew it just made the most sense because my my opponent was very experienced. So. Yeah, you can predict predictions from the more experienced players. So it's like, you know, sometimes you don't know. That, that's the most ironic thing. An inexperienced player can still beat you because of that particular player's inexperience in the game. But then ironically, it's kind of like you have to be a bit more experienced for the ex more experienced players in order to understand that level of experience. Okay, okay, I don't want to go too deep because, you know, it's going to be like going like Alex in Wonderland deep into the rabbit hole. But you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'm glad you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.